Hey guys, welcome to another video on May in Bloom. Today I wanted to share and document how I have been taking care of my hair in as simple and as holistic a way as possible, but most importantly, a way that is easy to maintain wherever I may be as I travel. I hope you enjoy the video. Honestly, since sharing my last hair care routine, not too much has changed. I did, however, start brushing my hair, I would say almost close to two years ago. And I find it's just the best way to take care of avoiding lint in the hair or removing any fibers before getting under the shower. I also use the brushing part to loosen any dandruff or dead skin from my scalp which is also going to make it easier to wash but I also have to admit that I really like the process of brushing it in my hair as well. I love the sound it makes and I love how my locks feel when I have brushed them and I don't do this only before washing but I do it specifically especially before washing but also other times when I just want to make sure that I don't have lint and other fibers stuck to my locks. So once I finished brushing the locks, running my fingers through them and just know that now it's ready for the next part, which is washing my hair, I also get a glass of filtered water, not only for drinking. I also use the filtered water to add to my shampoo as I find that the Luda shampoo works much better on my locks. The shampoo I'm using is from Odakam. It's a brand I like because it's easy when you travel of living abroad a lot. You can always find it in most health stores around Europe. So I add the water and shake it and prepare it to use in the shower. Another thing I really love to use on my wash day is of course apple cider vinegar. I usually try to wash my hair every 10 or so days. Um, when under the shower, the main thing I try to do first is make sure that all my locks are thoroughly wet and drenched with water. This makes it much easier when it's time to apply the shampoo and of course warm water. And the first, shall we say, scratch is all about making sure that the scalp and the hair is ready to receive the shampoo. And then I go ahead and add the shampoo, which now takes a shorter time to lather up because I did add water, as you saw previously. And then it's just a matter of good hand and arm muscle because as much as your locks grow and as thick as they get, you need more and more strength to keep them nice and clean. Because I do suffer a bit from dandruff I really like to focus especially on the edges of my hair because that's where I tend to see the most build up and then of course the middle section of my scalp as well otherwise just really trying to get all the soap in the first wash on my loose hair on my scalp and making it as thorough as possible. The washing is usually in different stages with different focuses at each stage. The second stage of shampooing is still of course focused a bit on the scalp 
but mostly to make sure that I'm also not focusing on the locks themselves, any buildup, any products or like spray I usually put on my hair during the in-betweens of washes, like really making sure the soap also gets all the way to the ends of my locks. I then move on to the third phase, which is not always included in all my washings, and start spraying the semi-diluted apple cider vinegar on both my scalp and the locks themselves. I will then obviously go ahead and squeeze my locks, just making sure that it penetrates all the way into the locks before I give it the final rinse. So after the final rinse, I will go ahead and put my hair up just to have it out of the way as I wash the rest of my body. There's also the option sometimes to put a plastic bag before doing the final rinse and letting the apple cider soak into the locks and then washing your body and then rinsing everything at once at the end but I did not do that this particular wash day. Once I've dried off and put my hair up in a towel, I will find some entertainment for the fourth phase that takes so much longer. Um, this time I've been listening to Josie and I love to watch her content here and there and I was happy to see there was a lot of content I hadn't catched up on. I'm going to prioritize moisturizing my scalp as soon as I can because that tends to dry out very fast especially after the wash so I go ahead and apply my olive oil you know I've been using this for years I think it's important to find an oil or a mixture of oils that work well for your particular hair and scalp for some of you you might already know that for me that oil is organic olive oil I love it because you can use it for so many things. I use it in my food and my cooking and I can also use it for my care routines and my scalp specifically. I only usually put it on the scalp um, but you can also add different herbs as needed or essential oils. My mom makes some really bomb scalp oils but for my very basic one it's just olive oil but Sometimes you can add oregano or even some peppermint or any other essentials that might be of benefit to your scalp. I usually don't tend to do all my hair care routines in one go but this particular time everything was needed in the same day so sometimes I might just wash and moisturize but this time I was washing, moisturizing as well as detangling and retwisting. This takes a lot of time so it's only on special occasions I might do all the different steps in one go because I'm also retwisting on this particular day 
I will then also use the fact that my hair is wet and moisturized to detangle the locks that have gotten married during the twist periods or just from washing. I don't use any extra products, all tools, just my hands and twisting the loose hair around itself and if there's any hairs that are outside of the lock, I also wrap them around the lock itself. Some of you have asked me of course if I do any particular technique for twisting my locks and it's just simple twist around the hair and nothing more. I make sure that my hair is as cared for and as healthy as it can be but I'm not too particular about over neatness in any way. And caring for my locks in this way is also more fitting towards what I like, my aesthetic, but I also think it's what helps my hair stay healthy because I'm not in it too much. I give it breaks to grow out and I don't need it to look twisted and neat all the time. And I think that helps it to stay healthy and not overworked or overstrained with styles and maintenance routines. As I've shared in my three year lock journey and previous lock videos, the hair around the edges of my hair is the thinnest. Um, so you can also see it in the locks, even though I tried when I was making the original parts to have the same size of parts but my hair texture is different and my thickness is different throughout my head but it doesn't seem to be a problem. I did at some point want to combine or think about combining the locks that are thinner but I saw that actually they weren't struggling and they didn't seem weaker just because they were thinner as long as I don't do styles where they have to carry the thicker or heavier parts of my locks they are just fine. The final step is usually using this anti-freeze hair serum that is made from argan oil. I love it because it's very lightweight, it doesn't add a lot of grease and it smells so good and it leaves my hair feeling very soft and very moisturized without feeling like it's heavy. As I've shared before, I was previously a bit scared about putting anything on the locks themselves because I just fear the horror of my locks just containing and keeping all these different products but I found that this one is very lightweight and with a good wash a few times a month I also feel like I managed to take it out to the best of my ability and it does the job at keeping it nice and moisturized and shiny and soft. I really don't know what I'm gonna do when it does run out and this is also why as I've shared before, I try to avoid having certain products because when you travel and you're not in the same place and then you run out and then you're like, where am I going to find it or something similar, you feel a bit enslaved to the product. But as for now, there is more than enough and I hope it will last me enough or I might have to stop being a granny and start ordering things online like the rest of the kids do these days. Otherwise, that is usually the full routine from beginning to end with everything included I do to keep my hair healthy. I might repeat some of the steps throughout the different days between washes. For example, using the spray bottle, I have water and a bit of olive oil. I might use that when my hair feels dry and then I might also add the argan oil syrup here and there when I need it to be refreshed. Sometimes if I need to do something specific, I might retwist certain parts of my hair. Or if there's this particular lock that looks a bit vulnerable and needs to be kept together, I might pay more attention to that one. I also of course try to take care of the ends of my locks where I still have some loose hair so keeping them also moisturized here and there 
when I notice they might need some tender love and care. Otherwise, usually the retwisting is every other month, but now I don't even keep track. I do it mostly on a need to do basis. As with the rest of my things, I would be lying if I say I do this every so and so days. I know I wash around the 10 day mark, earlier or later depending on need. And I also spray my hair with the olive oil and water mixture here and there when my hair feels dry, especially if I'm wearing my winter hat a bit too much, but also when the air is very dry. I do what I think my hair needs when it needs it. I think over the years my routine has become more refined and it has also become more intuitive but I learned this when I also had my natural hair like trusting your own hair and building a relationship with it and paying attention to it and understanding its needs you are most likely going to be a better expert than anybody else because it's your hair you know what you do to it or don't do to it and building a relationship with it like any other part of our bodies as i always talk about in holistic living is very important and i really really love my dark forest i love to see it thriving and i love taking care of it and i love that it also lets me have times of just being because it is hair that doesn't require too much or doesn't have to require too much. I love that all the things it needs I can do by myself and most of the products I need I can find anywhere and most of the time. And I am still really enjoying being on this journey and I can't believe it's already going to soon be four years. And I can't imagine how it will look like or how I will be taking care of it in five years, in 10 years. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you are enjoying your own hair journey and that you are both thriving to the best of your abilities. And I wish you a lovely rest of the Sunday or weekend or weekday or whenever you watch this. Do take care. Bye. All of the feelings you're not showing When your river's overflowing It's the truth, I swear to you I do